In today's Medico Apps Masterclass, we will study about Cori Cycle. First of all, as we know, muscular activities requires ATP as an energy source which is provided by glucose when the oxygen levels are normal. As we have studied, in the glycolysis cycle, glucose is converted into pyruvate to produce ATP, with the help of NAD plus conversion to NADH. But what if oxygen levels are low, or no oxygen is present in conditions, as in intense exercise or hypoxic conditions? In such conditions, another mechanism which we are going to study in detail today, Cori cycle takes place. Let's start the cycle by knowing how does it works and where does it occurs. As mentioned earlier, if the oxygen levels are low, more ATP is required by the muscles. That means more glucose is required. Cori cycle basically involves muscles, blood and liver. So, glucose comes to muscle from the breakdown of glycogen by the process called glycogenolysis. From here, in case of intense exercise, a lot of energy is required in the form of ATPs, which comes from breaking of these glucose molecules by the glycolysis process leading to the production of pyruvate point to be noted here is that glucose as we all know is a six carbon molecules so it forms two molecules of pyruvate which is a three carbon molecule now in the process of glycolysis it acquires two ATP NAD plus is reduced to NADH for the formation of pyruvate the basic difference comes from here on if there is enough oxygen then pyruvate can simply lead to TCA cycle. But as discussed earlier, in no oxygen conditions. What does the muscle cells do? What is the process then muscles acquire energy that is ATPs from? Okay, so here comes the answer to all the questions. Pyruvate stays and converts into two molecules of lactate or lactic acid in the presence of lactate dehydrogenase, LDH enzyme and this process is called as lactic acid fermentation. Another point to see here is, during this conversion NADH oxidizes to NAD plus again, and this reaction is called as anaerobic metabolism. Now, lactate or pyruvate produced in the skeletal muscle cannot synthesize glucose due to lack of gluconeogenesis enzymes. This lactate is then carried through blood and transported to liver. From here, lactate is then oxidized to pyruvate as liver has aerobic conditions moving forward two molecules of pyruvate is then converted to one molecule of glucose by the process gluconeogenesis as the liver has the enzymes for the same we have to keep a point in mind here is that this entire process of gluconeogenesis costs liver 6 ATPs per glucose but this seems to be a worth cost as glucose is available for the skeletal muscles through the blood to generate further ATPs. This completes the Cori's cycle. So essentially, Cori's cycle involved production of lactate from pyruvate in muscle cells under intense exercise or other low oxygen conditions. This pyruvate is then converted to lactate in muscle, which is further transported to liver via blood. In liver the lactate is converted back to pyruvate and this pyruvate is further converted back to glucose using 6 moles of ATP. This glucose is now available again for the muscle. We will now study about the significance of Cori cycle. First point is Cori cycle prevents lactate accumulation in the muscles. Second point is Cori cycle utilizes lactate from muscle for gluconeogenesis. Third point Cori cycle is important in producing ATP in low oxygen conditions. Fourth point is Cori cycle is pathway that links anaerobic glycolysis in the muscle to gluconeogenesis in the liver. Fifth point is Cori cycle takes place in liver, blood, and muscle. Lastly, the important exam points in the Cori cycle are Point number one Cori cycle is also called as lactic acid cycle or glucose lactate cycle. Point number two Cori cycle takes place in muscle, blood, and liver. Point number 3. 
pyruvate is converted to lactate in the presence of lactate dehydrogenase enzyme. Point number 4. Cori cycle gains 2 ATPs but with loss of 6 ATPs. Point number 5. Glucose cannot be synthesized in muscle because there are no gluconeogenesis enzymes. Point number 6. Cori cycle is pathway that links anaerobic glycolysis in the muscle to gluconeogenesis in the liver. Let us end today's Medico Apps Masterclass by having a look at the brain teaser question for today. Cori cycle takes place in muscle, blood, and liver. This statement is true or false. If you know the correct answer to this question, write in the comment below. Also, do not forget to subscribe to Medico Apps Masterclass by clicking here. Once you have subscribed, then click on the bell icon. If you want to receive a notification whenever we upload a new Medico Apps Masterclass, do not forget to check out this next Medico Apps Masterclass, which I feel will be very helpful for you.